Welcome to the Bionic Pets video series of how to do what we do. This step-by-step -step series shows loving pet owners worldwide who can't come to us how to cast and fit orthotic and prosthetics for their pets. Bionic Pets offers a wide variety of colors for your custom device. Please indicate your color choice on the order form. The materials included in your casting kit are as follows. An order form, casting instructions, fiberglass casting tape, a cut strip, a pair of gloves, a stockinette, a clever cutter, and a pair of scissors. Today we're going to do a casting procedure for a full limb prosthesis. Cooper here has no shoulder blade, anything remaining, so it's a nice, clean amputation. We're going to start with putting on your gloves. We're going to be working with fiberglass. You're going to cut out one single slit in your stockinette, like so. And we're going to put this over the dog's head. And this is going to be your interface so we don't get any casting material on the dog. So we're going to go right over the front of you. And then we're going to find our little hole and we're going to put the good leg through the hole, like so. And we're going to slide this as far back as possible. Okay, we're going to make sure to put our cut strip over the spine of the animal. Get all your casting rolls and your water bowl for dipping ready. And we're going to start wrapping circumferentially around the entire torso. The more you cast, the better. So I want to get at least to the end of the ribs, but I like to actually go around the abdomen as well. So we're going to start down here. We're just going to keep rolling. You also want to make sure you get past the amputation site and good leg and go a couple of rolls around the neck, which I'll do shortly. All right, so we're going to keep going. We want this about three to four layers thick. Don't be shy with the casting material. It'll hold its shape better if you go a little bit thicker. All right, good job, buddy. Roll number three. So this is where I'm gonna cross over, go around the neck just a little bit. And I'll make sure we get the amputation sites. A lot of times I'll do kind of like a figure eight here. So this is my fourth roll on a 50 pound dog. Sometimes we have to go you know, a few more, but right now we're on roll number four. So just kind of to gauge for your pet what you'll need. And I'm probably going to do one more roll. So we're going five, five rolls on a 50 pound dog. Last one, buddy. Keep you nice and straight. And you want to cover as much surface area as you can while allowing that good leg to protrude through the cast as well. You're doing great, Cooper. Okay, that's good. So now I'm just gonna make sure we hold Cooper nice and straight, keep his head facing forward, rub in all the casting material. You're looking really good, buddy. Just a little massage. This takes up to five minutes to sit. We got about about three more minutes, and then we'll cut right down this strip and take it off. Okay. After the cast is cured and we take it off, what you'll want to do is take a measurement from the lowest part of the body to the floor. That'll give us our height measurement to put the fake leg on. So make sure just straight from the bottom of the chest right down to the floor. And this is pretty much cured, so I'm going to take my gloves off. And I take our little clever cutter and we're going to go right down the spine over the cut strip. Like so. I remove that. And then to remove the stockinette, I'm going to cut right down the middle. And then what you're going to do is just bring this straight down. Careful of any, any, and then you lift the dog right out. And you got your nice 
molded body shell with the hole for the good leg. Again, this is very flexible, so you want to let this sit for about three more minutes and let it completely cure. But that's what we want for our full limb prosthetic uh, casting.